Hey, what's going on everybody? So I get a lot of questions on YouTube about all the different parts that I've put on my bike. So I wanted to film a quick walk around video to show and briefly discuss all the things that I've done to this. So let's get right into it. The bike is a 2019 KTM 150 SX. It has the FMF fatty pipe made it up to the shorty muffler. I got the FMF fatty in the factory finish simply because it looks different than the stock polished chrome look. And I got the, the shorty muffler because I think the shorty muffler systems sound the best on all two strokes. This pipe setup definitely felt like it added more power to the bike, especially in the, the mid range. It added a, a nice punch to it. I have V-Force 4R reeds on here and a Lectron carburetor. This is the Lectron Billitron 38. The reason I have Electron carburetor on this bike is I'm the type of guy who doesn't want to look at jetting charts all the time. I don't care to become a master at jetting. I want to load my bike up, head to the track or the trails, not care about what temperature it is outside or what elevation I'm riding at. I just want my bike to run good anytime I go ride and just have it be ready for me to go. I don't want to ever touch jets and that's the reason that I put this Electron carburetor on here. It allows me to do that. The power delivery is super, super smooth, consistent, and reliable. I got my suspension done by Evo Industries and it feels absolutely amazing. I love how the suspension feels on this bike now. This is the first time I've got my suspension re-sprung, re-valved for myself, and I absolutely love it. Evo Industries did a really good job. I'm going to film a, a full suspension review video in the near future, so be on the lookout for that. So for the plastics, I went with an all orange Acherbis plastic kit. Every single plastic piece on this bike is orange, including a piece that I feel like some people miss out on. And that's this down here. This is the lower part of the air box. On the stock bike, at least my bike, this came in white and it definitely messed up the overall orange theme that I was going for. So changing this to match the rest of the plastics, I feel like was like the finishing touch on the plastics. On top of the Acherbis plastic kit, I got Rival Ink Design Co. to to make me up an amazing graphics kit. They came out awesome, I absolutely love these. I think they might be my favorite graphics I've had on any bike of mine ever. They are a replica of the 2006 KTM SX bikes, but with the modern touch. To match the orange plastics, I got an all orange moto seat seat cover with black ribs. This moto seat cover is awesome. It's very grippy, helps keep me in place, uh, and it just looks awesome with the overall orange theme of the bike. These are orange ODI lock-on grips. I don't know exactly which model grips they are, but I just use ODI lock-on grips. I changed the stock black bar pad to this orange KTM racing one. The levers are, I believe, Streamline reflex levers in orange. These Streamline reflex levers are really good, really durable and the fitment is really nice. They don't wobble around like crazy or make a bunch of noise. All over the bike, I have various little bling parts from, I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly, Nihilo concepts, like this uh, clutch reservoir cap, my front brake reservoir cap, my ignition cover over here, and even just the valve stem caps are Nihilo concepts in orange. These are cool little bling parts that you can have custom engraved to say whatever you want on them. So for mine, I just got KTM engraved on my ignition cover, for example, but you can get your name, your number, whatever you want engraved on there. And it just is, gives the bike a, a cool customized look. Same brand as the plastics. I use these Acherbis frame protectors and they also have a grip on them. I use these on all my bikes. They always fit really, really well, protect the frame. And I do think they add a little bit of extra grip against your boots. I have some big beefy black Turner foot pegs on here. They're nice, seem pretty durable so far. My swing arm is still the stock silver swing arm, but I put these Polysport black swing arm covers over top. I think they're marketed as protection for your swing arm. I didn't get it for protection. I just got it because it makes the swing arm black and looks cool. The sprockets on here are both, I believe, Vortex brand sprockets. I have no idea what the chain is. It might be primary drive. There's nothing special about those. They're the stock size sprockets. They're just maintenance items that you know, when they wear down, I replace them with the same thing every single time. 
And this part down here is pretty cool. I have used these on all my bikes over the past few years. Um, it's a product by Bolt Motorcycle Hardware. And these are chain adjuster blocks. They're cool anodized in orange. They make it really easy to adjust the slack in your chain because there's no pinch bolt on the screw that's coming out of your swing arm. The screw is actually attached to the axle block itself. So it makes it really nice and simple. So for the tires, I actually do something that you guys might think is weird. I run a different brand front tire than I do in the rear. Um, the front tire is a Dunlop Geomax MX33 soft terrain tire while the rear is a Michelin Starcross 5 medium terrain tire. The reason that I mix these things up is uh, for the front tire, I want as much grip and traction as possible and the soft compound rubber, I've definitely noticed that it helps me grip in corners better. And in the rear, the reason that I go for a medium terrain tire is I'm going for overall durability in the back. I ride both sand tracks and really hard pack tracks. So I find that this Michelin Starcross 5 medium holds up really, really well overall. And another thing to note about this rear tire is I actually run a 11090 size rear tire. All 250Fs, 125s, and 150s, I believe all come with a 190 tire. So if you move up to a 110 instead of a 100, the tire has a little bit more width to it, which I have found personally just gives you a whole lot more grip when you're leaning it over into the corners. Only if you ride 250Fs, 125, 150. I'm pretty sure 450s come with bigger, beefier tires. Okay, so I think I covered everything. Um, I wouldn't really consider this like a bike build. It's just, I've put a bunch of different parts on this bike. Uh, in the year of ownership that I've had it and wanted to share it with you guys. Like I said, I get a lot of questions on YouTube asking about specific things. So just wanted to show you in one concise video all the different things that I've done to it. Hopefully that answers some of your questions. If you have any further questions specifically about one of the individual parts, feel free to ask in the comment section and I'll do my best to respond to you as quick as possible. But I hope you enjoyed that little walk around video of my 2019 KTM 150 SX. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.